Hi there, everyone. Um, today we're going to talk about finishing our edges and using the overlock foot. The overlock foot is part of our 32-piece set, um, and this is what it looks like. You can see it's got like a little black finger right there. That's what you're going to line your fabric up against, your raw edges the bar for the snap-on and then this bar right here in the middle and you're going to want to make sure that whatever stitch you pick to finish your raw edges that it's going to clear that bar it's going to hop back and forth so let's head on over to the machine and snap it on and see what we can do all right i'm at my machine so what i'm going to do is snap on the overlocker foot there it is. I'm going to get my yarn to the back, my thread to the back, excuse me. And you can see that um, the little black bit is right there. Um, and we are now going to test it to make sure that the stitch that we pick actually encourages the needle to go back and forth over that bar that I showed you earlier. So here is my test fabric. And I'm going to line it up so that the test fabric um, goes against that uh, little black arm. And on this machine, I've got a couple different um, stitches I can use for overlock. And number nine, I think, is the one I'm going to use. Um, you can also use a simple zigzag. You want to test it before you start though, it's just to make sure that your needle is going back and forth over that bar because you do not want the needle to snap off. So with your hand wheel, don't even engage the pedal. You're gonna crank your hand wheel and yep, it looks like it's going up and over. So yep, so I am gonna give this a go with my pedal. keeping my fabric lined up against that black uh, arm that's there and I'm just going to let it take its time. And there you can see you've got a beautiful overlock stitch at the edge of the fabric and it's secured on back as well. So that gives a nice finished edge to whatever project you may be working on.